Well... He sent us the book and says we've got to get it to him. We need to find the two ladies. There's one of them. So is she a lot smaller because she's a child? Or well, because she's very old. Or is she on a knee? Because these are the only three scenes we see them in. Is this one and the two where they're on the boat before they leave. And I don't think the... Like these just say passengers cabins. So there's no way of knowing which one they are in or even if that helps us. Well. <laughs> He's the first mate steward. So not really. And up in the photo here, she's just dancing with the surgeon's mate. Whereas she's dancing with Abigail. That's the captain steward. No, I don't think, I think, well, I'll check again, but I'm pretty sure there was no names on the, the ladies that helped. No, it's Miss Jane Bird and Emily Jackson. So I think the only thing we could potentially have is, is the miss. And I don't know if at the time the miss goes to a, a young adult, like an unmarried adult, and... The no anything goes to a child, or if the miss in this case denotes a child, because none of the the the, the men have missed her. Miss does equal not married, but it is also for um, young children. Wedding rings? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Yep. So you... Uh, Emily Jackson. Uh, let's go with a live in Africa. If we ch if we have to change the place, we'll change the place later. No, 
No, that's that one's fine. I think I would have come to the same conclusion as we've got based on the young miss being a child. So not quite as conclusive, but possibly good enough. All right, so they are correct. Looks like we've got Henry's wrong though, maybe. No, okay. Oh, those are the three we got. Oh. So I think we can safely assume that the um, the fourth one is also alive in Africa. We just don't know who it is. Um, Yeah, you need any three. And so that can help you locate someone who is wrong. Um, because if we have a look at the list, um, these ones are people we've, we've labeled, but we don't know how they died. And then I think we've got, yeah. Do I have anyone that I put that is not correct? So this guy, Leonard Vol uh, oh, he was, we can name him now. So this one, I've got Patrick O'Hagan fell overboard. So either he didn't fall overboard or I've picked the wrong person. But he was killed by Emily Jackson. Where is she? Passenger. <laughs> Lars Lind was killed by one of the Peters brothers. And we've also got one of the Peters brothers was like crushed. We don't have which one was which because there's two. But one of the like, like Nathan Peters or Samuel Peters was crushed by... Um, uh, by cargo, and we don't know what happened to the other one. Oh, the other one was on that boat, I think, yeah, that went upside down. Uh, so we know we know the picture of the guy that went upside down, and, and that's already been filled in, but it doesn't show up on here because we haven't tried to identify one of them. And that's where you can guess, like, where some people would be like, oh, well, I've got these ones. Um especially if in the situation where you've got three guys that have died this like those three that are alive um you know, you don't you could you could use those two as a way of identifying one of the other ones and by guessing swapping back and forth i i, I don't like that it's kind of like a fancy way of getting around the mechanics it it is much less fun it it's like when you're doing um I mean, it's probably still a win in like a game like Minesweeper, but when you get down to two options and one of them's a, a mine and one of them's free, and you can work it out, but you just fifty-fifty it. Uh, especially like if you've got like three seconds left to get your your best score, it's still your best score, but you guessed, you know. <laughs> All right, so we need to. So we've got. I think we've got all three of these topmen to identify. Oh, have we gotten that one right? No, we haven't. So these are three topmen. Two of them are British, and one of them's. I think the other option's Scottish or Irish. It's probably neither. Um, Topman, Scottish, right? Um, we need to pick those ones. We also need the four Chinese Topman, which is this guy, this guy, that guy, and that guy. 
which makes these two British and or well, these three British and one of them from uh, oh, there's four British seamen and one from Sierra Leona. <clears throat> yeah, so we've we've picked those ones. Which is the are oh, the British seamen that I'm missing <coughs> are these two? This one. That one? So that must be the unless he didn't fall overboard. But for I went with him being from it's hard because it one of these is from, one of these five is from Sierra Leone. And it's, I, I, I'm pretty sure they're the two Peters brothers. Yeah, he was crushed by cargo. So he's a Peters brother and he's the other one. So out of these three guys, two of them are British and one's from Sierra Leone. And I'd have to, I'd, if I was to guess, I'd say this guy's British and it's one of these two. My first impression was it's this guy. But I also made this, uh, we're pretty sure he fell overboard though. Did we see him falling overboard? I don't know if we saw him falling overboard, if we just assumed. I think we assumed. Because we couldn't see him, he was on that... No, he was the one that came flying out of the boat. I think I think I've picked him from being from Sierra Leone because in the in in compared to everyone else, he looks like he's got darker skin. Um, so I picked a, an African native, but and that's not all. That's not necessarily correct. The others are the others are from England though. In eighteen hundred. No, I'm pretty sure he's the one that we saw in the boat that the Kraken sort of tipped up. We've also got to pick that guy. We know he's alive in Africa versus this guy. <coughs> One of them is the ship steward and one of them is the fourth mate steward. And it's tough because we can't, we don't ever get a good look at, let's look at this guy's memories. Um, because the other three stewards we've identified have had like a little sort of apron thing um, between their, like from under their shirt to just around their knees. However, the one, this, this guy down here doesn't have that. But we don't know if this guy has it or not. Uh, however, he is... So if he does have it, we'd assume he's the ship steward, not the fourth mate steward. However, we've seen him pretty much hand in hand with the, the fourth mate. So it kind of makes sense if he was the fourth mate steward. But if he's the ship steward, maybe they do or so. So this is the, these guys are the memories we're going to want. Let's get him. All right, where are you last seen? It's probably <clears throat> we can probably get a good look at his uniform there. So let's go to this one. He's out in the um, down on the all up deck. I will need to leave this memory. Um... Yeah, so we'll go down to the all up deck and, and, and check him out. Where are we? We're there, we want to go that way. Okay. 
Man, I'm already thinking to myself, I can't wait till Lucas Pope's next game. Like, like Papers, Please was amazing. I also, I, I almost want to, I will. I want to find, check out some of his older games. Wait, how do we get out there? Oh, that's a dead end. That's why I can't get there. You gotta go in from the back. I thought that walked all the way up. Bump, bump. We might be able to go backwards in time through this one. Okay, so he's got the little apron thing. Which makes me want to say he's the fourth mate. We can go to that one. Yeah, these are the, the crabs coming up. That's where we found the steward hiding. I oh, thought the steward, the purser, was hiding. But if we go to his uh, a previous memory he's been in, I don't know if we will see him through there. He might be outside. I think he's the fourth mate steward. I don't know if we'll see him in this one. It says he's here, but I don't know if we'll see him unless we can get around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. I've got you. Has he already been spiked there? Okay. Well, where's the... what? He's in part five. That's up top, though. And I don't know if we get to go up to interchange. No, we can't get up. Okay, so five is... Oh, we could have done that one. Five is the... Yeah, it was just here. Silly pants. He's the one that burns. And I think this is how you had to find out that the other guy was spiked. Okay, so he's trying to... He's been spiked. Can't really see the apron here. Is he in four? He is in four. That corpse is... I have to go inside. It's there. I think he. D I just want to double check, but I'm pretty sure he does have the apron. Oh, it's so jarring when you go like through when you're already in a memory and you go into another memory. But I kind of like it. So it's kind of like a great. Memory. We're no huge. Slightly getting decapitated. He's opening that up. Where's our boy? Is that him there? Yeah. So he's already he's already been stabbed. Oh, so that's where he gets stabbed. We don't see him before that. But he is in this one somewhere. That's the one where John Naples. That's the leg. Okay, we can. We'll have to leave this memory and get back to that one. It's in a different chapter. Where's the exit? Exit. I like it. If it is, if it works out that that the apron theory holds up, 
it's kind of cool that they um they sort of trick you around a bit. All right, where's keep pressure here? Why is his leg downstairs? Downstairs. Oh, the leg's upstairs. I think the leg's around there. He's managed to fall down. That's them bringing the chest back downstairs. Eighteen others present. Wow, that's a lot. So the dude we're after is that guy. It's not helping us. <laughs> I don't get a good look at his uniform here. All right, is it part three? That's in the. The all up deck at the bottom of the stairs. We're down in cargo. Ah. I think in colour it would make it too, uh, like just add that little bit too much extra help. this for a little bit. It's great. Where's that dude? Okay. The other guys are present, but where? We can get out this way. I don't know if this takes us anywhere. No. Two, three, four. I think we need to get up the stairs to find out, like, to see everyone else that's here, but it's not going to let us. Unless... No. But I want to get up the stairs. I can't get to the other stairs either. So we're not going to get to see all the people that are present here because we just can't get to some of them. I don't, which is a shame, so I think that might actually help us if he's up there somewhere. Is that the captain? Oh, that's our guy. Has he got the apron? He's got the apron thing on. I think he's the fourth mate, mate steward. I want to get a closer look at his, uh, look at them both because the ship stewards from India. Whereas the fourth mate steward is from, I think he's British. Come on, pans, click the right button.
We have the fourth mate stewards from England, the ship stewards from India. Go back one more memory. That's this one. That's on the gun deck. And that's when that's the one previous one where the guy gets hammered by that thing. Which is probably that one there. So I think we can get this one in here. He's got the apron. Give him tea and I can fry a solid meal, boys. Take it slow. What's it, Jim? He doesn't. It's a free shelly. He does. No, get back. He's got a slightly different one. The guy talking is the um, the cook. So which one's Indian and which one's which one's British? His thing's there. I think he's he's carrying his. But that's the steward towel thing. And he just doesn't have one. I can go to a different memory that has the other one, the other guy. 